Ava Butler, it is time. It is time that I talk to you about how I am your spiritual mother and I really should be looking at this local whole camera right here. I can literally cover it up with my finger just like that. Avia Butler, I am your spiritual mother. I have learned this tactic from Jesse Duplantis. I will leave his video down in the description box. Um, strictly, not just like on my other videos where I'm like, uh, no. Um, yeah, I have realized I need to be serious about this. And I do believe that I've been serious about this kind of stuff before. Um, my life has definitely not been easy, uh, child. But, um, to make light of my life since... 2016 almost not even 2015 um that almost led me to another video that i made i think i made it early very very early on this channel um this antonia loves you channel um i'm not really so sure about that trump part but i think it's growing on me okay so Don Jr. Trump, I'm supposed to be your wife. So, we'll be praising the Lord there. That means that foothills. <laughs> the Lord. Um, I really hope, Holy Spirit, and I pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you, um, uh, help Avia. Butler see this video on YouTube because okay how do I phrase this phrase this um I was led to watch um the shade hearts um after quite some time I'm not gonna leave the video down below when it happened but um I was led quite some time to um, watch the Shade Hearts from the mom's view. So I watched the Shade Hearts in, in um, February. So we're in the month. And it's about this time of the month. I will put, I don't know, I don't know if I want to say we'll put, do we want to say we'll put? I don't think so. I'll I'll put the <laughs> I'll put the video down below. Um, and by the way, if I don't put the video down below, you can go ahead and ask the Holy Spirit what that video is because um, I'm sure eh, he's gonna be honest. But he also doesn't like Stephen Brown, so there's that too. Um, thanks, my John West, Ronald Reagan, the spiritual father. Um, yes, Avia, me, your mother. Um, has a lot of spiritual fathers, and I would like you to not just know of them, but know that I am your spiritual mother. I am coming to you, Avia Butler, not from the Trump Tower. The, don't let this background fool you. Um, I'm so not gonna say what this background is, <laughs> but um, let's just say I look like a college student in the here, and I did did go to college. Late summer last year, and uh, it's just so funny how I constantly see the devil running all around me, Avia Butler, and you have left your mother, your spiritual mother right here, just completely um, dead. So I'm trying to think of any kid photos that I have. Um, the last time I remember them, they were... Um, I, th I think I have a video on them. Um, they're on my channel. My channel's not very big. I might leave them down below just to help her out um, of our match and how we both match together. Because when I found you, Avia Butler, it was February. Your vi <laughs> the video. Because I'm like, oh, did I really find it in February 2014? 
18 and I was 18 years old at that time. I was like, did I really find her then? Like, and by the way, I keep seeing ants in this damn bathroom and I'm done with it. Okay. Like, no. <laughs> so, um, Avia Butler, I have thought of making this video for you. But yes, I am her spiritual mother and don't laugh at me, okay, because everyone else does it. And don't be a typical Taurus out there because a lot of the Tauruses that I've seen, Avia, um, are not good. <laughs> they believe in sickness. A lot of the time it's um, kind of a problematic thing and it's almost weird because I kind of thought my mom was... Well, the one that's just kind of way behind this situation behind me. This is just technically in, in the right direction. She's still there. Like, if I were to bust through this and bust through the wall behind this situation, then her room would be right there. So, um, I kind of thought she was like Carly Styles or something. And Carly, you were complaining about how you weren't having kids and I got you pregnant. And you kind of pay attention to your own self and not complain all the time, okay? So, I'm saying that all to say, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> Avia Butler, I'm your spiritual mother. Um, like I said, I will leave the right videos down below. I will definitely be watching this back, um, for that. And... Where do I go? Avia, you're, Avia, I am Avia Butler's spiritual mother. Um, I do believe my family, my spiritual family at Sorrel Supernatural can also help interpret that. Um, there's a lot of people from there, uh, that you can check out. Um, I do believe that Hank and Brenda Kuhneman's church is like a couple states above yours, like in, basically in the mid- Kind of like mid of, um, what is it called? The mid of America. Hank and Brenda Kuhnman <laughs> I don't even think I need to leave that down below. Um, they actually, Hank um, Kuhnman, uh, actually reminds me of Elvis Presley. Um, especially like one of the first videos that I saw of him. Um, I was on Super Bowl Supernatural, it was in 2018. I was doing that for you, Avia. So I do feel like Miss Avia, but you were very responsible for me just as much as I'm um, going to say Brandon Gabriel Verone. Um, his government name I don't believe is Gabriel. It's Sally. Um, my Verone family just like exiles people's middle names, but um, I don't really agree with that, and I do believe that God has a purpose and a destiny for all of us and your purpose, Avia, is to be the old-fashioned, very, very, very old-fashioned Winter Woman. And I encourage you to please watch um a lot of the content here on YouTube the best you can about yourself. It's girl, you got a lot to learn and have it a boyfriend right now. I should have made this video earlier, but I just felt like you know what the anointing is on me the anointing is there so the best thing for me to do is to just make this video I'll let you know that I'm your spiritual mother yes I've been struggling to get the Trumps' attention I've tried to do just like about like everything you know send some kind of signals and they just keep um I don't know if I'm just miscommunicating or something like that but, um, yeah, we need to be very strict right now, Miss Savia, and I'm going to be very strict on you and be very expectant of you. And if you feel as though, um, if you feel, I'm just going to say it because Jeremiah Johnson said it and I've always heard something like this growing up. If you feel as though your real family, your like blood, like your venial, venial family, like the family that you live with is not supporting you in this, you can come talk to me. I will leave 
Um, any information I can as far as contacting me down below, they are right in saying that I am very old fashioned and do not like um, electronics and things and um, I just, I just don't get along with it. Um, I believe we all have an intuition and you've got to follow that and I don't know why I say no and I prayed on the thing with this. So, um, my best advice to you, Avia, is just stand up and then be Wonder Woman and don't let anybody around you take that away from you. And I'm planning on getting out of here. Today was really warm, so I was thinking, God, if you could just keep it warm, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to wait till, like, spring and summer here in the Lava Oregon to, like, um, get rid of stuff. I don't know where these stinking ants are coming from, and it's, like, literally getting on my last nerve. And, um, yeah, <laughs> I saw, like, Lisa Presley, like, seriously, Ugh, I don't like it, you know, <laughs> just the tone of my voice, but, um, you know, I love you, Avia, and I hope I'm just being very informative, I'm, I might be a little dramatic, <laughs> um, you know, a lot of us are the same, and I don't think we have a, a right to just just acknowledge that and I'm really cold right now <laughs> this house is cold the situation is cold um I haven't seen um my extended family in California in like years uh my mom just uh, we don't know what happened to her a lot of her friends have tried to tell her the right things and try to reprimand her and I feel like I'm giving you like an update with Avia Butler but um your initials are a b like my me myself and i uh avia butler is antonia brown and like i said i have videos i really wish i could go get the pictures in my room but it's just very been very um high waters in this house and getting sleep in this house is like you know they're literally trying to do everything they can in this house to like turn my brain into stone but sweetheart you can't kill me we can't kill quality. Just gonna keep trickling back, trickling back. Um, I wish I wish I can go in the room and go get some of the photos. I'm trying to think. Do I have any of them on the wall? Um, I have a few video. I have a few videos of my pictures on the wall and stuff like that. Um, I my bedroom gallery. I just did that not too long ago. Um, I think that one was a little later than um just like me showing like home photos and stuff like that so i know the pressure um that it is of just having this image on youtube but um i really encourage you avia to please uh work on your ministry and um it's funny how i feel like um, why am I doing a video about her on YouTube versus, like, Brandon Barone? I'm like, well, technically the Barones and, like, Todd and Martha Barone probably don't even have, like, <laughs> they probably don't even have, like, a big enough phone and Wi-Fi and stuff like this. I'm like, wow, they really need to go under, under Mario Morales' tent and, like, get, like, some, you know, acknowledgement, <laughs> nourishment. There you go. Um, so yeah, I haven't made one of these from Brandon Brown, but he is my firstborn. And I, Avia, yeah, I haven't, um, really established, seen an establishment of you being my secondborn or my thirdborn. So, but like Jesse Duplantis said, I, um, do have, um, or, just <laughs> because Justice Plan is, I mean, it was like a joke, but it was true. So, like, he was, he said, um, I had Kevin when I was 66, and Avia Butler, I had you when I was 18 years old. I stumbled across, um, YouTube, I'm not stumbled across YouTube, whoops. Um, I stumbled across YouTube to, um, to see a channel and her mom, um, that's my godmother. Hello, Debbie Snacks. Debrige, here to stay. My godmother, last I heard, she lived in and li has been living in 
Sacramento, California. So there are good Californians over there. Just informing some of you people. Except for those Galindos. I've just been waiting for Hank and Brenda Kuhneman to go to the Galindos. Um, <laughs> um, oh my gosh. I don't know. Just, just watch my videos, okay? Gosh. I she knew that term really well. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Shay Carl actually he's the founder of YouTube. I'm like, no, but don't think so. Um, <laughs> I've had to tell them to start making more videos. Like, you gotta hold these children accountable, you know, and children. I, I work with children. So, what else do I have to say? Um, you're my daughter, Avia, and I'm going to hold you accountable for her, the work from God and I know I look like I'm just like kind of out of it and strung out a little bit hazy but um I'll make it back in time and stuff like that Don Jr. Trump you can come over here to my lot of work and anytime you want you can go to Foothills they got a great church I'm trying to think of any of my hot spots I'm probably gonna have the farmer's market here real soon I was thinking is that in May I don't know I don't want to be here um, um, so yeah, um, I was supposed to leave Oregon long ass time ago and probably would have told Ivanka I ain't going back to that whack ass house, that crazy ass woman without Don. Like, so, um, I do hold you very accountable, Ava, for helping me and your mother out because you can't just be over there running track, running all of these things and can't, you can't even make a 15 feet to your car. Um, this is a serious movement, Avia. I'm not playing around. Uh, you are Wonder Woman, and you are not just the Gal Gadot Wonder Woman. Like, you're the Wonder Woman that is thicker, fuller, taller, bigger bodied, and very well abled. And I'd like to see you out there and doing things that hold you accountable for being Michael the Archangel's daughter and yes your first spiritual parents are Michael the Archangel and Blessed Virgin Mother Mary and um what else me it's probably after Mary uh, those are also my spiritual parents um from the Bible so you gotta um find where you're at you gotta find your ecclesia I think that means like faith or something like that. <laughs> I'm like, what does it mean? Like, oh, ecclesia. I'm like, okay, what was the exiling of like the things? Because I'm still confused. I don't know what that was. Like, so, um, yeah, J. Wells. Kind of interesting how you just like flip the switch from the days of touching the men, and that's disgusting. No, ma'am. Like, I would never, ever, ever touch. A man like that. So, Avia Butler, please do not trust J. Well, Jenny Farley, all that much. <laughs> you can trust in me. Um, but I, I will say I feel like I'm almost making this video. For those of you, for those of you, I feel like I'm also making this video because I'm actually Mary from the Bible. And, um, and it's, it's been very hard for me. To get out of any place, to get out of this evil environment, evil west. Like, I'm wondering if the places in, um, oh god, help me out. What the hell? Um, yeah, it, it's been very, very difficult. Um, I've had hardly any support. Um, I do go out and I do get food, but, um, the, a lot of the people here in Malala, Oregon, especially have been very disrespectful and rude to me. And I, I don't know what else to say. Um, Avi, I just honestly would suggest that you leave a comment down below. I don't know well, how else to make this other than the adult material. Um, but, um. I hate that question. Am I the only one that hates that question? <laughs> I wonder if for like Jeremiah Johnson and also that might be um really good for you to know and the rest of the family, uh, especially for you, Colette Butler. I might need to make a separate video about that. Um, <laughs> but Jeremiah Johnson Ministries, 
Um, actually, it's a lot like Mr. J. Carl. Um, he stayed open during quarantine. And he's last year, he stayed open during the start of it and open. He's been open ever since. Um, he's been open way before since. Um, so <laughs> I love Jer Jeremiah's ability to deny the stupid sickness. If Yeshua died on the cross for us, don't you think we need to be worshiping um, him and not false gods? So do your research, Avia, and stay on your grind and I have no idea what a god this freaking stuff is coming from I need to use this can you eat even or do I have a breakfast? I don't know. Your mama's getting um tired and it's already dark out and I just really felt like I needed to make this video. I feel like it's not the highest of quality but um just talk to me because it hasn't been easy daughter of mine and i really just am i gonna leave off on this i do not agree with you having a boyfriend um that's trying to look like jared kushner or something like that like yes you kind of are the birth child between ivanka trump and me antonia trump right now i'm still antonia brown governmentally um so if we can just change that to Antonio Trump, that would be great. And I'd like to be in a house with Don Jr. Trump and we can both be in our master bedroom and our kids can be in their bedrooms and we can have maids and we can have a clean house. And um, yeah, I think I'm going to leave off there. Um, but yeah, don't please don't have um, a husband or um, yet. Avia, <laughs> please don't have a boyfriend. Uh, I think Shay and Colette need to wake up to reality and they need to say no to a lot of things. And honestly, Avia, I'm just going to say this. Like, you probably think that, that you are God making all of these sinful decisions, but God does not make sinful decisions. And if you want a hard-ass lesson... <laughs> I just be that kind of parent who sits back and doesn't pay attention to her child and I refuse to do that for you. Uh, I know that you're capable and more capable than me to handle this world and I think it's pretty stupid how you've been living like what was the right word? How you've been <sighs> she's been hiding from me. Okay. I, th I think that was the word. It was living away from me, living a lie, things like that. You have a big, big, big body. I've left comments on your um, Instagram and stuff like that a long time ago. So I really do, Holy Spirit, command her to watch this video and leave a comment down below so I know that that's you. And uh, don't let Stephen Barone, like, bother you and stuff like that. I wonder if I'm just saying that for myself. <laughs> Yeah, he needs to go away, and I feel bad for anybody out there who has ever been affected by him, but I don't feel bad for George Floyd because he's in a happy place, and it's funny how his initials spell GF, and I'm like, who's GF? <laughs> who's his girlfriend? I'm like, I'm Don Jr. Trump's wife, not girlfriend. Like, there's just better ring to wife, Avia, than just girlfriend, and that, that doesn't mean that you need to just marry some random fool off the street like so Stephen Barone you don't have a right to command evil in my life you have no idea the hard work that I have been doing for God and um all of the God things that have been going on in this country and the nations outside of this country so studying up on your baby food girlfriend because if your mama your birth mom can study up on her baby food <laughs> then and actually to side note well from that uh avia's avia's uh mom she won the baby food challenge because she was actually eating a lot of fruits and vegetables at that time and um she definitely won that so i totally commend her and i don't know what's going on in my body right now but i will i will say this um if I die, Avia, um, don't come run for me 
and stuff like that. I will totally take care of myself. And we both need to remember that the Messiah loves us enough. And just because you're Mormon doesn't give you an excuse to leave the Jewish principles behind. So I think I've said enough. I think. <laughs> I I think or I believe I've said enough. Um, I'm a believer, girlfriend, but I'm also trying to find out, God, how I'm going to do all of this and be a full-time virgin mother, blessed virgin mother, Mary. Um, it's, it's just been really hard. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's not temptation bothering me. It's Donald Dream Trump and this whole, like, it's just, it's just been annoying. And I know Don, that's a whole separate video. I don't want to, I don't want to taint your video here, Avia. Just, just leave a comment down below. Um, and please be respectful because it, it just has not been easy for me. And, um, I do believe Ava is my spiritual daughter because we both are Wonder Woman. And Wonder Woman can have more Blessed Virgin Mother Mary in her like myself. And we're not lazy. You know, that's where Martha Barone comes in and tries to help hire housekeepers that my grandparents always hired and um, my dad always hired. So I know that they're not scared of me. Talking about them on the internet, I hope I'm not talking too low, but, um, it's, it's been really hard for me, your mom, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm looking at this food right here, and I'm like, are you really worth it? Like, man does not live by bread alone, get away from me, Satan. So, <laughs> it's just, it's just not, it's just been not easy, and honestly, a lot of the time, I really think that God's been like, you really need to take a shower, you really need to take a bath. And I think I forgot that that had something to do with baptizing myself. And yes, Avia, you can also do that. You don't need to go to a church. We don't need to go be doing those things at churches all the time. <laughs> we can do that at home. That's why people, you know, take showers in this country, in America, and are able to do those things in America. And actually, Heidi Baker was talking about doing that sort of stuff and what's actually really funny that I'm making this video and honestly I think I'm just gonna leave off on this note I just keep I just keep um uh noticing the anointing <laughs> yeah um what's I gonna say um right now from YouTube this family it's very interesting. They're always are talking about, oh my gosh, they're always talking about how they're in pain all the time. They're always talking about how they're getting sick and how they're um, always getting like painful stuff done, like surgeries and like medical. It's just kind of weird. Like, I wonder if God's doing something in them because their last name is Phillips. Um, but as I am speaking right now, Braden Phillips, the Brad Pitt of the Phillips Fan Bam family is, um, you can find them on YouTube, Phillips Fan Bam family. They are like so many steps down from the Shade Tards. It's kind of a joke. But, um, Braden Phillips is, yes, here in, in Oregon. And, um, I think they said he was like in Salem, Oregon or Eugene, Oregon, something like that. So, Southern Oregon. <laughs> so, um, I miss you, uh, Avia, a lot, and I hope that I get to see you really soon because, it, like I said, it, it has not been easy. Um, I'm not going to sugarcoat that one at all because being Michael the Archangel's daughter, it has been extremely difficult for me, and I don't even think my prayers um, have meant anything to the Lord, and um And it hasn't been easy. My whole family. <laughs> I, I honestly don't even want to say that Jeannie Mai said what she said on the real. I mean, I'm not mad at you, Jeannie, for saying that. 
I'm really surprised how the Holy Spirit totally came through, but it's just kind of ridiculous how somebody could be um, losing their virginity and abusing their vagina in a black man's home. And um, we're complaining about a black man dying when there's been cops that have tried to discredit me and tried to kill me. Um, man, I'm so not going to discredit that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> yeah. God, please, please take me um, out of this unsafe environment because my family um, has definitely been trying to um, up here, especially in Oregon, really, they've been really trying to do everything to um, discredit my um, my ministry, um, being Wonder Woman as the Blessed Virgin Mother Mary in America. It has not been easy, and it's just kind of annoying how I called I called my father on the phone about a month ago, and um, he he's divorced from my mom. And, um, he's, you know, I, I guess I'm just saying all this to say, Avia, you really should consider yourself blessed because there's a lot of us in America that do not have the organization that, um, we don't have the organization, like, I, I don't have the organization of the Shade Hearts family. Like, you know, you kind of have to, like, step yourself out of your own house and go see what other life is like. And um, I don't even know really why I'm saying that because one of the last, one of the most recent videos that Shay Carl made was like, oh, I don't know where she is and stuff like this. And, oh, this, that. It just kind of sounds like, it's, it's Shay Carl, like, it's... <sighs> Is he uh, this fake barone that my dad doesn't want anything to do of? And um, I don't know. My dad's. Yeah. I'm dealing. I'm dealing with principalities and evil powers of of the world, Avia, and I'm not gonna sugarcoat um, what the devil's been doing to me. Uh, I actually really do feel strongly that I'm going to leave Jeannie's video down below. I, I honestly don't even know who else to mention, but Lonnie Love, I don't understand what Lonnie was trying to say, and it has been very difficult. Um, there is a um, why a man in my house in, in 682 in Milano, June. 682 June Drive, Lava, Oregon. Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna sugarcoat that one. You have been so disrespectful to me that um I have kicked you out of the house successfully since 2019. Um it, yeah, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that one. Uh, I really do thank you, Holy Spirit, for coming through um on the real. I don't know why it is so hard for me to thank um the holy trinity in a whole or really in a um like a divide or um defection what is it called i'm just been so frustrated with myself it's like why can't you just go to canby and jump on the canby train and get out of here and it's like well if i do that they're gonna try to kill me you know what i mean it's like so avia it's almost like i'm making this video like you you need to um I need to protect your mama right here because we obviously look alike. I just have um, so many photos. I mean, I could do a video on it tomorrow. <laughs> it's just, I have so many photos. I know it's like, why can't you just get up? I'm, I'm tired. Um, I haven't uh, eaten hardly anything since um, 2016. Um, I just felt like if I ate, then it was going to cover up my need for my husband, Don Jr. Trump, and, um, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, Trump's, like, it, it has not been easy, and Jeannie Mai said from the Holy Spirit on the real, um, 
about her mom and how it's been very hard. What was that? Did y'all hear that? Okay, well, let me let me rephrase it for you. I know Jean, Jeannie Mai was right on the real that um there's there's always some evil around. I'm like, God, can you just please take Satan out of here? Like Yeshua, you are a Lord, you are a Savior. I I really need to get better about worshiping God. It's just, it's just been hard. You know what I mean? It's like. Why can't people just be right? You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's been very difficult. Um, that was weird. That was a car, Tonya. Not a, not a Satan. <laughs> I, I guess I forget that there are angels protecting me and that maybe I'm just not the only angel around here. Um, but yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe Lonnie was wrong because, I, but I, I will say, and I almost feel like leaving down below, um, Mama Mai's video about her, um, why and how, um, why it's just evil and he's a horrible example in that you just can't just look at people like that and think that that's an example to look up to. Um, so, I'm going to go and not ramble like your mom said on the Thanksgiving favorite, one of their favorite Thanksgiving videos on the mom's view, right? And actually, side note, <laughs> I have so much to say. It's like, this could be a 40-minute video, Avia. Um, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to see Don Jr. Trump this year. Um, you know, he's 43, I believe. Um... <laughs> I have to go to like Google like WikiLeaks or whatever. What is it called? Like um famous YouTubers or famous um celebrity birthdays or something like that and find out how old my husband is. <laughs> it's so easy to find this kid, but it's so hard for him to find me. Like I'm in plain sight, you know what I mean? So um <laughs> I have to take a shower and take care of myself, but um I just wanted to let you know, Avia, that I don't just say that I love you just to, um, just to say, like, I expect a lot from you and I expect you not to have a boyfriend right now. I expect you to have a ministry and I'm going to be tough on you because you were tough on me like Lonnie on the real. And I don't know why she said that and completely ignored that Meghan Markle doesn't need help, um, you know, like that, oh, you can see the sadness in your eyes. I was like, what do you mean you can see the sadness in your eyes? Why are you guys always looking for defections? You know, Satan, get away from me. Um, So I, I believe I'm going to end off there. It's like this video is literally getting 40 minutes long. But um, <laughs> so what else, what else do I have to say? Um, what's What else is the anointing God? I just feel like I know this stuff. Um, but from, from what I've corroborated, <laughs> you know, Ava, you're very much responsible for a lot of the world's problems, just as much as, um, this Wonder Woman is right here. And when I say responsible, I mean, if you're hearing, you know, reports on the, on the news about, you know, somebody being Satan basically and doing crazy stuff, um, you should definitely go after them and, and be a mother to them and also be Michael the Archangel to them and, um, be a friend and, um, you know, don't go to G5. <laughs> um, absolutely not. So I don't know what else I have to say. Uh, I think that's all. I, I can't really think of anything else. I really, I'm having a hard time mentioning this because this kid is literally, like, whacked. Like, he, he has issues. Like, he has issues with respecting people. Um, I, I was, how do I put this? Either you do have, um, 
I don't know whether to say he's the third child because 2016 was a really hard year for me, but I met this man when he, when I was, um, in 2009, uh, it was literally like <laughs> a Britney Spears scene. Um, and, um, it was, it was just kind of ridiculous, but, um, yeah, I met him in his bas basketball class. We were doing, um, we had to do extra credits for high school and he was just there. And, um, I don't, I don't have any kids from my womb. Uh, I believe that that is abuse and unvirgin and that's where I've been at. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, my first, my actual firstborn is Brandon Brown. I think I've already mentioned that Brandon Gabriel Brown. I made a playlist about him. If you would like, I'll probably leave it open uh, after I upload this video just for you. Or um, actually, the best thing to do is leave a comment and be like, Mom, I need to see the playlist. I'm like, okay, you know. And then I say, okay, because a lot of times um, when you leave a door open, Avia, a lot of people can see into your house and... Um, you know, I, I wouldn't say to be scared, you know, I think we all know the word well enough in inside us and, um, in our names and internally, uh, and definitely, definitely, definitely just like Jeremiah Johnson on, um, uh, Sarah Supernatural, you know, again, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, Jeremiah Johnson just showed up on the prophetic outlook last year and, um, I need to take a shower so bad, but I really have to make this video for you. Duata. Um, oh my gosh, what do I have to say, Lord? I have like so much to take care of. I just cannot even do it all. It's like my mom needs to hire a housekeeper. Um, <laughs> so I think what I was trying to say was, um, it's kind of weird. Um, you have... You have two other um, brothers from me. Um, again, I did not lose my virginity. I'm still virgin, still to this day. Um, very hard to lose my virginity. Hello. Hi, America. Um, <laughs> I'm very happy about that. You know, as long as I can um, own my body, I think we'll be pretty happy. Show like. <laughs> um yeah, Brandon Gabriel Brown, as you can tell, I'm very happy about him right now. And he is um Billy Graham. And he's got the Billy Graham anointing. And um at my church right now, but Hills Malala, there is actually a boy at my church, and I know exactly where he sits, and he comes in just about all the time, and he looks just like my Brandon Gabriel Brown. So that's my firstborn. Uh, Grant, I made a playlist about him, and um, I really would like the money for that, Lord. So come through, um, Lord. <laughs> I would like the money for that. So let's come through. Um, <laughs> so what else do I have to say? Um, there's that one, and then there's this kid in Canby, Oregon, and um, I don't want. I don't want to say that I'm sugarcoating it. But I'm I'm definitely hinting at it and you know opening what did what did Kate say into Windows, um yeah Kate Powell she doesn't care if I put her out on the internet um she's um Kate Powell is uh, my Cara Delavine Supergirl I uh, can't be Oregon her parents are the Netanyahu's and they are not together sadly and um I tried to. Tried to go and talk to you, Miss Sarah Netanyahu, and your address is, um, it has a 37 in it, and that means holy. And, um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all. So, if it, if your address of your house says 37 America, <laughs> you should understand that that's holy, and you should definitely seek into that. Um, it was just kind of interesting how. She, <laughs> if I don't say the truth, like what's gonna happen? Um, yeah, it's interesting, Shauna, that um, you know, there's a lot of different ways to spell Shauna, right? Um, 
that um yeah i tried to tell you last year sometime last year it was like horrible weather and i was like what am i doing here um <laughs> and um i tried to tell you that uh, you were staring not in yahoo and you did not seem to be too happy about that and um i don't know what else to tell you if you don't take that seriously you you might end up going to hell and av i'm just gonna tell you it's a bad idea it's a bad idea it's a bad idea for me to be stuck in my of Oregon too but I'm like so do I need money and like so do I just like take that money and like go to the Trumps and like start my business there because I would like a ministry you know um you know I don't think my mother's really good at ministries because I don't know maybe some people have a hard time being Carly Styles, but um <laughs> it was just interesting because I remember Carly I think this is after she had her, her third child. I was going to say her second child, right? The second child with Jackson, you know, that I put in there. And there's already a video about that. Um, <laughs> and, um, yeah, um, I guess I, I don't have to be like Richard Simmons. <laughs> and um, say that, oh, I don't have any children. No, I have children. Um, hey, I don't know what else to say. Um open doors are a very interesting topic for me and um I don't know what else to say <laughs> um yeah what do I say <laughs> I'm not in my element is what I'm saying this is not the drum tower <laughs> oh my god you can come to Foothills Malala Oregon and see for yourself um so yeah but um yeah, I gotta take a shower. So your mama's gonna go. Uh yeah, and um I, I guess what I was trying to say is you need to help me pray for uh pray and really believe for um Superman can be Oregon because I guess he's like my third child or something like that, or second child, I'm not really sure. Uh he's uh, having a hard time being birthed out of me and he keeps troubleshooting and he keeps breaking the laws and of man and god and um god did it did i say man i mean god um so i don't know what else to say uh yeah superman's really not listening so i got to take me a shout wow i hope it makes me feel good good your mama loves you avia and keep your head up and know that you are my daughter and I'm going to cry because uh, I don't really have any family. Um, a lot of my family by blood has walked away from me and God. And um, they think it's okay to disrespect me and um, leave me out in the cold and just all that stuff. Um, last year, sometime last year, I just had enough of it. And I was just tired of... Um, spending the night in this wretched ass house you know i just feel like chloe kardashian in that situation like you know this house is extraordinary but like when am i ever gonna go to Costa rican beach and it's like <laughs> it, it you know it's just it's like why is it chloe kardashian that like, we always have to pull teeth when it comes to these family members that just want to stay in sin all the time and um you can come over and meet me at Foothills, Malala, Oregon, or um, what else is here coming up? Uh, Tom and Mary Ann's, um, is it Sawmill or, or what the heck is it called? Um, oh my God, I forgot. Tom and Mary Ann at um, the Hoffman House. <laughs> at Cowgirls Trading Post. Girl, you have so many names for your place. Um. <laughs> She's like, I knew that on purpose. I'm like, well, you never told me that. I figured it out on my own. So I'm sitting here looking at a video on my phone. Like, maybe we should have done a reaction video to that. So your mother is really trying to take YouTube seriously, Avia. And honestly, I just need your help with money because your mother needs your help. So, <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'm so not going to sugarcoat that one. Uh, really pray for me and Superman and Campy Oregon because he clearly does not know how to choose a woman. Um, on this Facebook avia, there's like this picture of him marrying this chick that looks like Rebecca Zamolo. And then she, <laughs> then now like in his like, um, what was it like the, um, the back photo of like, what the heck is that thing called? Oh my God. I'm so not a worldly person. <laughs> Oh my god, like is what is it like the background photo, right? It's the photo like that's be that's behind like this like that little circle, you know, that's like your picture. Um yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then um in his background photo on Facebook, um <laughs> um his wife was like trying to look like Jessica Beale, and I'm like, what in the hell is her problem? And then in and then in person, she didn't look like that at all. I'm like, how many women did this idiot marry, Avia? Like, so you need to focus, Miss Avia Butler, on being a virgin. Hello. <laughs> so all I have to say is, you know, I'm just glad I never had any sex. You know what I mean? Because it looks like a waste of time, and um. I think that my example to America is definitely a good one because don't lose your virginity over something that doesn't matter and stop trying to look like, you know, the the Messiah when there's already a Messiah and you just got caught with uh your hand in uh in uh um the mud jar. So all I have to say is man can't be organ, stop looking like murderers on the murder mystery like things you know <laughs> this and oh my god there's just and, and I just have to say this and I really do think that it's my time to go but um I just have to uh say and applaud for um how do I put this uh, I have to say and applaud um uh, Heidi Baker and the and Daniel Kalinda and those people, you people, you guys go out of America and you go into those nations and you guys are really, really doing a, a good thing. And I say that all to say, um, Grace Chapel, they didn't let me go to Africa. Um, they were upset that I was trying to put the glory of God in that church. And I was really, really trying to believe in that. And they just they ripped me down and they they were like what are you doing on because I, I apparently they're they're still hung up on it or something like that and it was so weird because I saw Keith a while ago I know you're like mom you're getting off on a tangent I'm like don't start with me um I, I have a lot to say and I think the best thing for you to do Avia is to just come see me so I will be posting this video very soon and I am your daughter, or your mother. <laughs> I am her daughter, my bumsy. Um, so yeah, I, <laughs> I am your mother. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, it takes a lot of guts to not just wear your heart on your sleeve, but it takes a lot of guts to put yourself out on YouTube because there's a lot of eyes on YouTube, and there's a lot of people out there in um, you know. Miss Antonia, I don't blame you for doing that. And I think I've said enough. And I feel so sorry for my brain because it just has not been treated with respect. And I just feel like there's a bunch of boogs all over me. Um, no, I just really hope that uh, we connect really soon, Avia. And I'm going to continue to believe for that because I miss you and I miss my spiritual family a lot. And um, I just think it's really sad that you know, just because Superman and Cammy Oregon doesn't want to believe, then all of a sudden he's got to look like Step Up in these movies and stuff like that. It's just, it's just ridiculous. And um, yes, Avia, um, if you fast and pray, you you can figure it out. And um, I, I really do think, and I really do believe that people like Braden Phillips right now are learning that Jewish values and deep saved Jewish values are um, essential in these end times. 
and it just it just keeps coming out more and more and i'm really proud of a lot of you i'm gonna get emotional right now or something like you know what forget that i'm gonna get bold right now like like it just it just warms my heart to know that jewish principles are being the example um that we need right now and i'm gonna get off of here and take a shower because i have no idea what time of night it is to be honest with you um but um have a good day and um i hope to see you very soon avia and i think i've left a lot of my addresses and stuff like that in this video and down below and um i do believe america I deserve um, to win the vote forever because I was told um, not too long ago by spirit that um, I will be known as the longest running um, president ever. And um, we got this law in America that says that um, you only get to reign for like eight years. And I'm like, if Donald Trump's still the president. So gonna be really hard uh america for you to um for you to uh admit and stuff like that i i do look up to uh laurie butler a lot and uh i wonder i i, I really ah, i really want her to know that because um yeah i don't know how I, I don't know I don't know how to um lose my virginity like that so I think that's where I'm gonna leave off and um you know to look at the description box Avia and you know to um comment so I can't wait to see you daughter <sighs> I had you when I was 18 years old I wish I would have known that 2018 <laughs> so I, I really hope that um that this experience um me feeling all of these emotions really gets me out of here because i don't like being treated with dis disrespect and stuff like that and i'm tired of feeling like i'm some kind of like savannah chrisley or something so beware of my daughter Avia butler america because she's tougher the nails she's she's everything to me and um she's definitely rooted and grounded and um ready for the end times so watch out <laughs>